Between these frowning granite steeps, the human river onward sweeps. And here it moves with torrent force, and there it slacks its heady course. But what controls its variant flow, a keener wit than mine must show, who cast myself upon the tide, and merging with its current glide, a drop, an atom of the whole of its great bulk and wandering soul. Oh, curbless river, savage stream, thou art my wilderness extreme, where I may move as free, as lone as in the waste with wood overgrown, and broodings of as brave a strain may here unchallenged entertain. Whether meridian light display the swift routine of current day, or jet electric, diamond clear, convoke a world of glamour here. Yet when of solitude I tire, speak comradeship to my desire. O oh, most companionable tide, where all to all are firm allied, and each hath countenance from the rest, although the tie be unconfessed. I muse upon this river's brink, I listen long, I strive to think what cry goes forth of many blent, and by that cry what thing is meant? What simple legend of old fate man's voice, here inarticulate, from out this dim and strange uproar still heaves upon the skyey shore? Amid this swift, phantasmal stream, sometimes I move as in a dream, then wondrous quiet. For a space, the clanging tumult will displace, and toil's hard gride and pleasure's hum no longer to my ear may come. A pantomimic, haunted throng fares in silence deep and strong, and seems in summoned haste to urge half prescient towards a destined verge. The river flows, unwasting flows, nor less nor more its volume grows. From source to sea, still onward rolled, as days are shed and years are told. And yet, so mutable its wave, that no man twice therein may lave. But ere he can return again, himself shall subtle change sustain. Since more and more each life must be tide-troubled by the drawing sea.